everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of this week's grocery haul. My first one was from Trader Joe's. I will link it down below in case you missed it. And this is, so this is part two. This is from Aldi's. Two of my favorite stores. I love Trader Joe's. I love Aldi's. Um, we don't get to Trader Joe's as often, so that's why I usually go to Aldi's. Um, but I have a lot of, both of them have some fun fall items. I also took a lot of footage of it, when I was inside Aldi's of a lot of the fall uh, fall items. They had a lot of pumpkin and fall and apple items. And we, we bought a few, but not all, um, but they did have a ton. So I'm going to put that at the end so you can check that out. So let me start with these items and then we're going to move into the fall items. And then the rest of the footage will be at the end. And I will put all the prices for you guys so you can see how much everything was. So let's get started. All right, so, because I didn't have buy enough apples in my other haul, um, I, we bought some more. These are the Gala apples. I bought these previously at Aldi's in um, other weeks, and they were on sale again. Uh, three pounds for $1.49, so I bought two bags. Like I said before, I'm going to be making, these are great for snacking, and I'm also going to be making some applesauce, so that's why I have been purchasing so many, and this is a great price, $1.49. Three pounds can't beat it. Uh, I picked up some paper plates, you know, one of our usual items. We were starting to run low, so I grabbed those. I grabbed a two-pack of paper towels. I'm not sure if I've tried these before, um, but this is compared to Bounty, so um, they and they look like they're really good ones, so I have high, high hopes for those. So um, let me know if you've tried them before, because I don't usually buy my paper towels there, because previous, the, previously the ones I was buying weren't so great, but these I think these are new, so let me know. Anyway, moving on, um, I also picked up our seltzer. You know, if you've watched my videos, this is one of our regular items. Um, I, there's only two here on the table, but we bought 12 of them all together, and we bought the berry and the original. And then my daughter has been asking for the Kalamata olives, and they've been out, and it looks like they finally restocked, so I picked up two just so we had them on hand. And it actually even looks like they changed the label, so maybe that's why they were out of stock for a while, so maybe they were, you know, waiting for new shipments, um, but the, the label just looks so pretty. But anyway, so she loves these and they are a great price as well. And then another regular item, my husband's peanuts, as you've seen before, if you watch my hauls, we always buy these. This we have not tried before. This is the Berman's barbecue, Memphis style uh, barbecue sauce. And they had two other styles as well. I don't remember what the other ones were. Um, but this one says sweet and rich, so thought we'd give that a try. And this one is vegan. Always check your labels because some barbecue sauces, some will have um, fish sauce in them for flavoring. So always double check if you are someone who eats a vegan diet. Then I needed some garlic powder, so I picked this up as well. And then my husband wanted some frozen strawberries, and you can see he already broke into them. He likes to make smoothies with them. So I got that, and we have not been purchasing avocados lately because they've been so expensive. Um, so I picked up some of this, uh, the Little Salad Bar, which is the Aldi brand, the spicy homestyle guacamole. Um, and we have purchased this before, and it is really good. So you know it tastes just like fresh guacamole. So in a pinch, this is great to have on hand. And then for my boys, like I said before, they they are the meat eaters. Um, we got these fully cooked boneless chicken wings. These are, you know, nice and easy. I can just throw them in the oven for them because I really don't like to cook meat too often. Um, so when I do, this will make, this makes it easier because, like I said, it's already cooked. Um, and then I bought for my daughter and myself. These are the Earth Grown Vegan uh, Veggie Burgers, which I've never seen this. Pa I don't know if this is just different packaging from the ones they've had previously. Um, I know they usually have the black bean one but it usually is in a different box so I just I don't know if this is just new packaging of the same product or if it's different um, if you know let me know in the comments below um, but anyways we actually we did break into these already and I had this one and my daughter had the black bean at Chipotle and they were really good and I love that it says right there in the corner vegan so you don't even have to look at the ingredients to double check and I believe also these here these on the left the veggie burger the plain veggie burgers are gluten free as well. I didn't see anything that said wheat on them. So if you are also somebody who is in, on a gluten free diet, um, these are great. And then uh, we have been looking, trying to find these because they showed them in the flyer one week 
and my daughter loves eggplant. So I finally found them in the store and these are the veggie eggplant fries and these are vegan as well. A lot of times stuff like this is made with um, egg or milk, but these aren't. And they're not the greatest thing, you know, they're the calories and stuff on them, you know, 100 and what is it? Well, 12 pieces, 180 calories, 10 grams of fat, five grams of fiber. You know, it is somewhat of a processed food, but in a pinch and, you know, she wanted to give these a try. And, um, you know, so we got those. Okay, so now for the fun fall items that I found. Like I said, I only found, I only purchased a few things, but they had a ton of stuff in the store. So make sure you stay till the end so you can check that out. Um, so let me show you what we got. So I don't usually buy uh, pre-made salad dressings. I usually just make my own. But these just sounded really uh, yummy, and I want to give them a try. I love anything with maple flavoring. Um, so this is a maple vinaigrette. So that sounded really good and completely vegan. The ingredients look pretty, pretty decent. As you can see here, I'll show it to you. Um, 80 calories, seven grams of fat, not too bad. And that is vegan. And this is the cranberry gourmet dressing. And let's see, it says apple cider vinegar, cranberry juice with cranberries and a dash of sea salt. And the same thing with this one. Actually, this is less calories, 60 calories. Uh, four and a half grams of fat. Um, there's the ingredients. They're not too bad. So looking forward to trying that. Some nice fall flavors. I just love fall. I know I always say it in a lot of my fall videos, but I love anything fall and fall, you know, all the foods that come with it. Then they also had some, you know, the pure pumpkin, canned pumpkin. So I picked up two cans of that since now we're getting into that season of making pumpkin breads and pumpkin pie, hopefully. Um, I'm actually looking for a vegan pumpkin pie recipe. So if you have one or if you've made a video for them, if you're on YouTube, um, link it down below. I would love to check it out because we are hoping to make some vegan pumpkin pie for our Thanksgiving. So definitely let me know if you know of any. And then the one more thing that we purchased was the pumpkin harvest salsa. And this sounded so good. They actually also had a pumpkin chipotle and a apple um i think it was an apple spice if i remember correctly i did actually take a photo i will insert it at the end um, but i picked this one and let's see it says it has a medium heat and the ingredients are not too bad as you can see pumpkin puree sugar onions tomatoes water let's see cider vinegar jalapeno peppers molasses sea salt and cinnamon, ginger, allspice, garlic, cumin, xanthagum, nutmeg, natural flavors. Not to go on and on, but you know, not decent, you know, pretty decent ingredients. So looking forward to trying that. As you guys know, we love Mexican and salsas and all that stuff. I know I must be on a salsa kick because I bought two salsas from Trader Joe's. Um, so I'm just going to add this one to it as well. So that was everything for my Aldi's haul. Like I said, this week was totally different than our normal haul. So you know, I wanted, like to, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And like I said, I wanted to go check out the fall items that the, some of the stores had. And we still actually have, um, I mean, this doesn't look like it's a lot of, you know, produce and things like that. But, you know, we, we are still getting our, we're in our last month of getting our farm share. So we're still getting that. And I still have a lot of freezer meals and a lot of other things, canned, you know, some canned items on hand as well to make full meals. So this is just some, you know, add-on things. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you have not yet subscribed. And um, don't forget to hit that bell button as well. And stay tuned. I'm working on some giveaway videos for you guys. So definitely check those out. Like I said, hit that bell so you know when they're up. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.